What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am Lloyd, but I am not necessarily the single guy. So what we're going to talk about today is why so many guys, they spend all of their time watching videos about how to get girls, about dating, about self-improvement, but they never actually start taking action. They never do anything about it, okay? And I know this subject very well because I used to be one of these guys. So what I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to talk about what my experience was like being in this, why I think so many guys fall into this trap, and what you can do to actually start getting results in your life and start taking some action, how to motivate yourself. Okay. What I'm going to talk about today is my story. So uh, back in the day, a long time ago, back in 2010, I think, I was really, really into the self-development scene. Um, I was just watching a bunch of videos, uh, primarily from a company called Real Social Dynamics. I don't know if anybody um, knows. They don't really do as much as they used to back um, back then. Uh, but they were all over like the pickup uh, scene. And so I was watching tons of videos all the time, not doing anything. I got zero results with women. I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, well, actually, I thought I knew what I was doing because I was watching tons of videos, but I would never actually do any of it. Okay. And what I think the reason was why I was watching so many videos was because I got a little bit of an emotional high from feeling like I was learning, feeling like I was getting better, but not actually facing my fears, not actually taking any action. So I watch hours and hours of videos uh, on, on doing stuff like this and uh, it uh, didn't make me any better with women, I'll be honest with you. I thought I knew what to do. I thought I knew everything. I thought it was okay, I, I just need to implement all this stuff, but I had a million things going on in my head. Um, I was too scared and there was too much anticipation for what I was about to do and it ended up just coming off as weird. You know, if I just acted like a normal guy for half of the girls that I talked to, I'm probably, I probably would have gotten way better results than what I got at that point in time. Uh, but unfortunately, I was so in my head with all this information um, that it didn't actually help me. So what I actually did at that point was I was like, you know what? No more videos. I'm not going to even go on YouTube. I'm not going to check anybody. Well, they didn't. People were only really using YouTube at that time. Um, I wasn't going to use anything else. So I basically took a break. I took like almost a year, two year break. And all I did was go out at that time. All I did was talk to real people, meet people in real life, go out to bars or whatever, like ways to meet women. Okay. I would do all of that stuff and I didn't look at a single video and I got pretty decent after doing that. Okay, I actually improved my social skills. I was able to converse with other people. I was able to uh, be charismatic and get with charm women. But it wasn't, and there were certain things that I was missing. And then that's when I came back to some of the videos that I had watched before. Now, I didn't just watch uh, the RSD stuff, although some of those videos may have helped. Um, but I watched other things. I watched a variety of different uh, subjects and topics about just dealing with people, you know, being a better guy overall. And uh, I think what I learned during that time was there was a lot of things that were missing from the videos that I saw last time. But even if that stuff was there, I felt like it still wasn't going to be enough to motivate me to get me to do the right things. So if you're a guy who can relate to my story, where you, you're constantly watching videos and you feel like you need to take a break, I, you know, sometimes taking a break can help. You know, I know I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but getting off the TV, getting off the, the your phone or however you use to watch my content might be a good idea for you. And the other thing that I did too at that point was I decided to put some skin in the game. I decided to actually pay somebody money to do it. Now, you don't have to pay somebody money, but the, you do have to find a way to put some stake into making a difference. Because right now, when you're consuming things that are free, I'm sorry to say, you don't have any, you, you're not losing anything if you, if you don't change. Okay, it's not enough of a pain if you don't put any money down or you don't put anything, you don't put any risk into it, then it's not going to work. Like if I came to your house and I put a gun to your head and I said, hey, bro, you got to walk outside and you got to talk to five women you'd probably do it, okay? But there's nobody doing that to you. For me, the only way that I figured out how to do it was I paid somebody money to do it, and I did. And my results went up after that. What really helped me was having a guy keep me accountable, making sure that I would, I would have to go to the meeting every single week, and if I didn't, he would yell at me. If I didn't do the things that we talk about, he would just, you know, <laughs> It's, we, we had some interesting meetings, let me, let me put it to you that way. So that got me to actually go out and do something. So whatever you need to do to motivate yourself, it has to be more than what you're doing now, okay? So put some skin in the game, you know? Figure out a way to motivate yourself. You know, when I used to go out, dude, I used to give my friend, I would give my friend $50 which at the time was a lot of money for me. <laughs> okay. And I would say, hey, the only way you're giving me this $50 back 
is if I go and, you know, talk to that girl at the bookstore. Or I go out tonight and I, you know, at least talk to five people. Whatever it is. 10, 20 people, whatever, okay? Have a stake in what you're about to do. And I really think that that's going to be the difference. Because most guys, they take the easy way out. I have videos where I talk about how guys most take, mostly take the easy way out. And if you're one of those guys that's always doing the easy thing and not actually putting any risk into it, don't expect to have any actual change. Um, typically, guys that go all in, you know, they call it burning the boats, are, are the guys that make it. You know, in business too, you know, you see a guy who like risks everything to try and make something work, and a lot of times it happens because he has so much to lose, because he's done everything he can to try and make that happen. If you're already sitting in the mansion, it's really difficult to get motivated to go through the grind to start a business. And so very frequently you see a lot of kids that grow up in rich households, they, they just don't have the motivation to be able to do it. Um, you know, it's only certain cases where you see that. But um, same thing, a lot of you guys are living in that comfy home and you know, y your life isn't, um, you don't have enough of, enough of a, a drive to go out and do it. So give yourself that drive. And for me, that was putting some money down. For you, it could be, uh, you know, make, keeping yourself accountable with a friend, uh, whatever it is, okay? Uh, but that's what I invite you guys to do. If you're one of those guys, uh, make the step. And if you want to get help from me, you know, there's a form down below. You can fill it out. Uh, at the very least, if you're not at that point yet, I want you to download one of my free guides, go through it, and that will, will help you. You, know, you can go to my free trainings. Uh, we can talk about how to motivate you uh, for that sort of stuff as well, too. Cool, all right. Well, if you made it to the end, consider subscribing, you guys. Good luck out there.